Am I the arsehole? For not comforting my in-laws. My wife and I held a gender reveal for our first child yesterday. It was my wife's idea since her, her parents and a few other people wanted to know the gender. I don't really care what gender it is as long as it's healthy. My Mill and Phil wanted it to be a boy because they always wanted a son but had two daughters instead, my wife also wanted it to be a boy but only because of her parents, she didn't really care much either way. It was a very small gathering with just a few friends and close family members. After it was revealed that the baby is a girl my Mill walked away and got very upset and my Phil looked disappointed. After around 10 minutes I went into the garden to see my mill crying I asked her what's wrong and she said that she really wanted a grandson. I told her that I'm sorry she's disappointed but it doesn't really matter that much and she got really annoyed at me at this point my Phil had joined us and heard what I said to her. He told me I should be sad too since I won't be able to teach the baby about cars I'm a mechanic and I joked a few times about getting the baby to follow in my footsteps I told him that she might be interested in cars when she's older so I don't really understand how that's relevant. They were saying a bunch of things about what they can't do now because she's a girl, like taking her to sport games and teaching her about sports. They said that I'll be missing out on giving a son the talk and girls I don't really care that much about that but what if the baby likes girls so their argument is pretty weak. They said a few other things about why they wanted her to be a boy but I just walked away and went back inside. My Mill and Phil explained the whole argument with my wife and she got really pissed at me. She said that I should have comforted them and had at least a bit of sympathy. I just don't understand why the gender is such a big deal. Shouldn't they just be happy they're getting a grandchild? Am I the asshole? She won't like cars or sports? Smiley face, I'm a flaming cis girl and love NASCAR, rugby, baseball, even collegiate bowling on the Ocho. Your in-laws are nutter butters about gender. Toxic misogynistic family. Make it crystal clear you never want any of this kind of gender bias spoken of around your children. In-laws need to grow up. Set your wife straight too. Ridiculous. Not the asshole. And honestly they are going to be horrible to your child. First with their gender typical expectations and their obvious disappointment and teach your daughter basic car care at minimum everyone who can will drive should know it. Not the asshole. Your in-laws are hopelessly stuck in the 1950s. Not the asshole. If their bigotry upsets them, so be it. This isn't anything a person who doesn't look poorly on women is going to get upset about. Not the asshole. I would go so far as to say that them dumping their disappointment on you is insensitive and extremely rude. The audacity how dare they? I won't be able to teach the baby about cars. Your Phil has never heard of Shirley Muldowney. Not the asshole. I think that your sorry you're disappointed is about as much comforting as they deserve. BTW, do they blame you or your wife for this failure? Not the asshole. What a pair of miserable old people. They can comfort themselves out of your party and all the way home. Not the asshole. This is exactly why I hate gender reveal parties. Not even about them maybe being trans, it's the extreme pushing of gender roles that's infuriating. Not the asshole tell her that you won't tolerate such sexism and misogyny around your daughter and it's good that the in-laws learned this from day one. Never apologize for standing up for equal rights. By sympathizing with them, you are supporting their belief that only a boy can do these boy things they are missing out on. It also gives them the impression that you also care, which you don't. Not the asshole. You're progressive enough to teach your daughter all those things. Good on you. Your in-laws can go suck eggs with their backward-ass misogyny. Obviously, not the asshole. Boo these people and what if it was a boy and he didn't like cars? Maybe the girl won't like cars either but who cares people have their own interests. You sir, are a pretty amazing guy and you will be a wonderful girl dad I think your in-laws have old ideas and attitudes. Your daughter is really blessed to have you.
not the asshole. A mill will always find a way to make the day about her. What an ass she is. Not the asshole. You don't have to comply with their whatever tf that is tbh. A girl is not a sin or a disappointment. Is as much of a blessing and I wished more families saw it this way too. Not the asshole. Also, what if the boy hates sports? Chances are it would not be as perfect as their imagined grandchild. Not the asshole but you need to be vigilant that they don't pass on internalized misogyny like they have with your wife. I'd never leave her alone with them. Your in-laws are dicks. Not the asshole and they deserve no comfort. And girls like cars and sports. Not the asshole your wife grew up with a toxic parents and their perspective, hope she gets some help and doesn't bring that into raising your kids. Not the asshole. Your poor daughter wife's been brainwashed and her parents are disgusting. Not the asshole. Your in-laws need to grow up a little. Holy shit nata nata nata. Two-time girl dad here tools, home repair, sports, cars, guitars drums. My love of all of these things I've been able to share with my daughters. You eels are garbage, and the jury's still out on your wife. Not the asshole. Your eels are ridiculous. You don't need to comfort them due to your child's gender, ridiculous. And they're both sexist. Fuck them if they can't stretch beyond 1950. Not the asshole. Your in laws, including your wife, are a holes. Your in laws, because they are trying to guilt you over the gender of your first child. They are taking the excitement and joy out of it for you. And your wife for siding with her parents. Not the asshole. Man, the gender doesn't matter in the slightest. You can do pretty much everything with a girl that you can with a dude. But maybe, if your in-laws are lucky, the kid will just come out as a trans guy. Never know. Love when all these fake writers all right have the same thing for a few days. Not the asshole but clearly your mill, Phil, and even wife are. And there you have it, another reason why gender reveal parties are dumb. I get the feeling they won't treat their granddaughter that great. I'm sorry what? Your wife said you should have comforted them that your child is not the child they wanted? No. Not the asshole these people are embarrassing and sexist. Not the asshole, what a pair of pricks. Should tell them if they're that put out by the baby's genitals they don't need to be a part of her life. Not the asshole. They actually justified their disappointment? Wow. Not the asshole. I think their behavior is revolting. This baby is a gift that a lot of people are denied. I wouldn't have them around unless they change their attitude. Wow you should tell grandma that the gender of the first grandkid is determined by the egg sack of daughter's mom, if they are that stupid, well. You're the asshole. You can't have gender reveal. You had a sex reveal. The kid most definitely didn't choose a gender yet. E.S.H. Them for being rude to you based on the gender of the child you're having. You for not being empathetic to these old people for a few moments.